Hello, thanks for joining me here for Capricorn's reading. This reading is from or for June 4th through the 10th. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Uh, my name is Elle. Um, like, share, and subscribe if you need to contact me for a personal reading. Uh, you can reach me at tarot of L at gmail.com. That'll also be in the description below. Um, let's go ahead and start shuffling for Capricorn. I already shuffled off camera and I meditated over the cards and prayed. Um, but we're just going to you know get that energy going again here I hope that everybody is having a good week I know you will just pray pray to whomever you believe in um, because that's pretty much the source of your life um I'm having a good week um, even though I'm doing this on Sunday before I feel like it's gonna be good I think that's where it starts. It starts with you having the feeling that your week is going to be good. So get those feelings, those emotions going. Uh, positive affirmations. I know I have several of those. Um, yeah, that's where it starts. That's a start. You know, keep the momentum going. I know people start stuff at the top of the week by Wednesday. They done forgot about it. They be messing up again. Um, also, just to love you know, sometimes I do curse. I do use obscenities. Whatever. If you don't like it, just, you know, turn me off. Turn it off and find someone who doesn't. But but it's not, it's not obsessive. It's not every other word. You know, it's just when the, when the spirit moves me, you know. So sometimes you you move to curse or curse somebody out, but you, you know that's neither here nor there. But anyhow, let's go ahead and get into this. This will probably be upside down right now for you. I'm going to turn it around. All right. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Pentacles. Pretty good. That's your energy anyhow. So um, let's go ahead and get into it. Okay. For the energy of home, you have the Ten of Cups. I think that's beautiful. This is emotional fulfillment at its highest. It's a 10, of course, here in the card. You see the happy family. You see the mother, the father, the kids, the rainbow. This is beautiful. Uh, this is going to look different for each and every person. This will not resonate, of course, with every Capricorn uh, in the earth, on the earth. Uh, but happy family, emotional contentment is different and relative to the person. So whatever that is to you, You've got it going on in your home sector. I think that's a beautiful thing. Um, I would love to have this card. So let's keep going. That's for home. Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands in the work sector. Pretty good queen to have. Uh, queen of Wands would be a fire energy. Uh, what is that? Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. Uh, these these are the movers. The 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 entrepreneurs, the the people with the good ideas, they put them in place, they move. This this is an action queen. So this is good to have in your work sector. So you know for for work, if you have any projects that you're working on, anything that you want to start, any new fresh ideas, the Queen of Wands. Of course, this energy can be male or female. But you have the Queen of Wands in your work sector. That's a pretty good energy to have. This could be your boss too, also, um, someone over you at your at your job at work. Um, she's a fair queen, not very detailed, 
but the the ideas and the innovation and the movement is there the energy uh, these are always energy people moving people they don't sit still they don't just not act you know they have a thought and then they move and they're very passionate so it's a good queen to have all right and your love sector we have the death card 13 um, so it's the ending of something um, we'll clarify this but the death card everyone sees this card and it's like oh my god you know and it shouldn't be oh my god it could be the the death of feeling uh, bad in your relationships uh, your romantic relationships the death of negative energy the death of not spending enough time together it could be a good death but it's a death of a situation or circumstance or it could be the death of a relationship this is going to resonate in your life how it does um, and uh, it won't be it's not for everybody it's relative to your situation and like I said we're gonna clarify this and figure out what this death card is about in your romantic relationship then we have the outcome the general outcome of your uh, your week and it's the seven of cups so you got some options here as you can see there in the car I hope it's not such a big glare but anyhow you see the seven of cups you see the person mulling over all these options this is a good card to have but at the same time we know with options comes confusion we know with confusion comes stagnation we know that options ain't gonna always be there so what this card says even if you having options um, and you might be a little confused you might want to choose one because this card can speak of the options bleeding so um, choose one or you won't have options uh, the universe source whatever you believe in will choose for you or they'll all be gone eventually um, there's no time frame on this but of course you know when with options you want to make a decision you want to make the right decision so mold that over as I know a Capricorn will do and they're gonna make the best decision for them honey they come first baby believe that <clears throat> They're going to do what benefits them. But this is a good energy to have. You have options. Choose one. Choose rightly. Choose. Uh, <clears throat> be wise in your choice. We'll clarify this too. All right. So let's get some, some uh, clarifiers on the death card. Ooh, we got our tiger's eye because we need the truth, honey. This will bring you the truth. Somebody, you know somebody always lying to you. Keep this with you. Keep it right in your bra. Uh, if, if you're dealing with a liar or if you're a man, keep it in your pocket. Somebody always lying. This this is gonna get the truth out, or you're gonna feel um, you're gonna feel that they're lying to you, or you'll feel that you know they might speak the truth to you. But keep you some tires eye because this is truth and clarity. Not even just for another person that you're around, but it's for yourself too. But I, uh, I like to keep this around when I'm no when I know I'm around a habitual liar. But anyway, that's you know that's off the subject. Tiger's eye, please. I pull it right out, right in front of them. They go, well, you got that rock with you? For you, you, you know. I don't tell them why, but it's for you. I thought you'd like it. So anyway, that's that's there. Some tiger's eye. All right, so we're going to need a clarifying card on this death card in our romantic relationship. That's all right, no. It's all right that it's a death in a romantic situation. I'm going to flip the cards over so that you can see this. All right. Thank you, God, for giving us some clarity in this death situation. Overall, this is a good reading, though. Like, it almost just flows. Like, y'all got... You know what? I, I read for some Capricorns. 
Y'all be having it easy lately. Y'all been taking it easy. Y'all be having it easy. Some pretty good cards. Some, some, um, you know, I have one major, uh, yeah, one major arcana and, and, um, I'm in a court card here, but, um, for, this is good. So, I take this any day. My readings be all confused, but that's, that's an Aquarius read. This is all over the dang place. Yeah. I did so much this today. Anyhow, let's see what we pull. Seven of Pentacles. And that's here on the bottom of the deck for us, too. So, basically, and I'll put this here for us. The Seven of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Um, the Seven of Pentacles on this this uh death rom this death card in your romantic relationship so the seven of pentacles speaks about putting in the work and just waiting for your harvest so maybe you put in some work in your romantic relationship whatever work is to you it could be money it could be time it could be energy it could be um ac actual physical work you know you're doing work for or with someone, uh, counseling, you putting in the work, but, um, and, and you put the work in, and maybe the, the, why you were, what you were working toward, or what you were working for in your romantic relationship, um, it's working out for you. So, whatever that, maybe that negative, uh, energy was that you were trying to get to die in your relationship is dying. We can look at it that way because we have the seven of pentacles twice. So you put, and that's the overall energy, the bottom, well, not the overall energy, but the energy at the bottom of the deck, the card at the bottom of the deck, and it came out twice for you guys. So you put the work in and now you're waiting, you're just waiting like, hey, you know, um, I did my part. What you gonna do? What are you going to do? Okay, let's see if we can get uh, get a person here. This is a this is a fire sign. Some Capricorns could be dealing with a fire sign in some way. This is in our work sector. All right, let's see. Let's see what these options are about. All right. Thank you, Lord God, for telling us what these options are now. What are these options are about? What are they Good to have options. Thank you, Lord, for options. Nobody just wants that, you know. So thank you for options, Lord. All right. So we had a page of cups. Wow, okay. And it sits on options. So this could be... A water sign what is that cancer Scorpio Pisces the page comes with the news so this is news maybe from someone of that sign that could be a uh, Sun moon rising or they could just have it in their charts but you're getting a message and it's normally a romantic message or, or, or a message that stirs you uh, emotionally and look it's sitting on top of options so that's pretty good right there. So you're getting a message. But even in that message, you got all these options. You got to choose one. I, I like that. I like choices, honey. I like that. that. That's pretty good. Even with, you know what, Capricorn? I, I read for so many of y'all. And with y'all, um, I do face-to-face -face readings. This, I'm new to you two. Um, y'all pull a really good spread. Even in the midst of having a a, a major arcana as, as death, y'all still pull some good cards. And even when I start clarifying for my Capricorns, y'all still pull good cards. I mean, my God, this is really good. This is really good. Um, we don't want to mess it up. That's what we don't want to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can get on uh, the energy of the Maybe the, the romantic partner that you have come to this reading for, because we all be coming to a reading basically for love or whatever. 
we feel like we can govern work until work just gets crazy and then we like what's going on at work but love will that's something you just cannot govern so yeah um but even in, in your romantic situation ooh, something uh oh uh oh all right we got the king of spades there we go i asked for a person we gonna set him right here in the middle wow i asked for a person we got the king of spades all right this is a fair and just king um this will be a dark head person dark haired person excuse me um ambitious an ambitious man he's the king of spades this could be someone of the air suit uh, so that would be Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. That's a good man to have, and he's a king. So, you know, he got it all together, um, probably physically, emotionally, financially. You know, he's where he needs to be for himself. And also, he's where he needs to be if he wants to establish something with someone such as a Capricorn. So, like I said, even with clarifying cards, y'all be pulling them. Y'all pull some good stuff. This was a really good reading, Capricorn. Um, I don't want to mess it up by just, you know, just keep going in the deck. I hate when people do that. Overall energy, Seven of Pentacles. You even pulled Seven of Pentacles when we were talking about the death. So you putting in the work. You doing your side of the situation. And, and you're just waiting. I love it. A good reading. I hope you guys have a really good week. Um, you can... Um, uh, like share and subscribe thank you and remember when in doubt pray please peace and blessings